King Charles has made his distance from Prince Harry clear by rejecting even the possibility of seeing his son during his stay in London. Claiming to be busy with his public commitments after having been absent for some weeks due to his cancer diagnosis, the King has avoided any meeting with Harry, while simultaneously announcing the promotion of Prince William as Colonel-in-Chief of the Army Air Corps. Royal experts have interpreted the king's dismissive gestures as a clear indication that reconciliation within the royal family is far from happening. Despite the hopes that arose following Harry's attempted rapprochement after the announcement of both the king's cancer, Charles and Princess Catherine, the moment of greatest closeness between Charles and Harry occurred on Wednesday, when both were separated by just over two kilometers in the British capital. While the king held his weekly meeting with Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, in the afternoon he hosted the first party of the season in Buckingham Gardens. At that same moment, his rebellious son was in St. Paul's Cathedral, participating in the 10th anniversary ceremony of the Invictus Games. Harry, who had the opportunity to spend 45 minutes with his father in February following the announcement of his cancer diagnosis, did his best to arrange another meeting during this visit to London. However, all these efforts seem to have fallen on deaf ears. A spokesperson for Prince Harry said, in response to continued speculation about whether the Duke of Sussex will meet his father during his stay in the UK this week, unfortunately this will not be possible due to the full schedule of His Majesty's programme. The Duke of Sussex understands the commitments and priorities his father has in his diary and hopes they will be able to see each other soon. In response to Charles' refusal to meet his son, presenter Piers Morgan, known for being a fervent critic of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, expressing his opinion with characteristic sharp comments, your father has more important things to do, Harry, like meeting thousands of strangers while eating sandwiches rather than enjoying your evil company for a second. Despite Morgan's harsh words, there is speculation that Harry's decision Charles could be motivated by more serious reasons than simply his busy schedule. According to sources close to the monarch, doctors have advised him to avoid meeting Harry due to the risk of alteration in his emotional state that it could cause. At these times, the most important thing for the king is to maintain peace and tranquility. Although he feels a deep love for his son, Charles recognizes that Harry's presence in his life could be detrimental at this delicate time. Therefore, he prefers to keep his distance and follow the recommendations of his family doctors.